As we pick up daily in the Word with Isaiah 64, it's a continuation of the prayer in chapter 63. As a remnant of those submitted to God, cry out to Him to intervene on their behalf. In verse 4, Isaiah records, For since the world began, no ear has heard and no eye has seen a God like you, who works for those who wait for Him. God acting on behalf of His people is well documented in Scripture. We see God moved with compassion time after time in the Old Testament, and His response witnessed by many. Acting on behalf of His people also had a great impact on the nation surrounding Israel as documented in their history. God is faithful to keep His promises to those that are His. The promise in the context of this chapter is that when God's people wait for Him, He answers them in His timing and according to His will. Frequently I find that I don't really understand God's timing. Scripture declares His ways are beyond our ways, His thoughts are beyond our thoughts. But I do understand this, God can be trusted to show up and answer us when we call on Him. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul referenced these words in 1 Corinthians 2.9 when he said, As it is written, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. The Lord also spoke through Isaiah back in chapter 40 about a special blessing connected with waiting for God. He said this, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. What I believe God is saying is that He is not limited in energy, knowledge, or caring towards His kids. He's never too tired, never too distracted to speak into our lives if we will simply wait on Him. Let's you and I take renewed confidence in God's promises today. Let's call out to Him together and patiently wait for Him to respond.